In this lecture, we will study about securing email. Okay, so emails, as you know, are used for sending messages, letters. Okay, so here in this example, Alice wants to send a confidential email to Bob. Okay, so she wants to send some confidential love letter to Bob. And confidential means it's top secret. It should not be known to anyone else. Okay, not even her friends, parents, no one. Only she wants to tell it to Bob. So she wants a top secret confidential email. So how will she do? So she needs to ask a network security guy for that. Okay, what? security protocol she should use okay public key encryption and so on so what happens is that she comes and she studies book of kuros okay and she finds that okay when i have to send a confidential email what do i need to do and she sees this diagram so what happens here to understand this how we can send a confidential email you need to know about secret symmetric key encryption and public key encryption and what are those so symmetric key is where you encrypt the message okay using the same key as you do the decryption okay so the same key is used for both encryption and decryption so here alice and bob should share the secret key but in public key encryption or asymmetric key so you lock the message or encrypt the message with some different key and you decrypt it using some different key okay so this is the way out now let's try to understand what is it saying so i want my message email m to be confidential ks is my symmetric key which is shared between alice and bob and in fact Alice sends this KS symmetry key to Bob and she also has her public key and private key. Okay, so let's try to see what happens. So Bob has his private key as KB minus and his public key as KB plus. So public key is used for encrypting and KB minus the private key is used by Bob for decryption. So message M is there. Now Alice encrypts it with the symmetric key. So KSM. So this message is now encrypted. So it becomes confidential because you cannot read it. So I love you. Okay. This message will look something like hash question mark underscore exclamation A B X. Okay. So you cannot find out that. Okay. What? Alice has written so KSM is there so this is encrypted by the shared symmetric key but at the same time this secret key shared secret key is now not with Bob and why she wants to encrypt this with the shared secret key is because it's much cheaper computationally to use a symmetric key so this large message the large love letter has been encrypted with the shared secret key which is much cheaper computationally and then she uses the public key of bob okay to encrypt the shared secret key by which she has encrypted this message and now she sends kb plus the encrypted secret key symmetric key and the message encrypted with the shared secret key the symmetric secret key now what happens it comes to bob so bob so this kb plus ks he first need to find the symmetric shared key so for that he uses his private key to so kb minus so this private key he uses to find the symmetric key so he gets the symmetric key from this process by applying his private key to open the secret key ks now he uses ks ks of ksm so he gets the message and this was secret okay so 
this way there was a secure email and our aim was confidentiality which was like successful okay so this is there so we talked about symmetric key or symmetric key and how so bob finds the message he uses the private key of bob to decrypt the symmetric key and using that symmetric key he finds the message so simple but now you might have more requirement i want or in fact bob wants that it's not another lady known as trudy who might be faking as alice and she might be writing something okay so he wants authentication that okay is this love letter from alice or is it trudy who is faking as alice okay so he wants sender authentication okay that okay i'm sure that okay you are alice who is writing and he also wants because he had heard about man in middle attack where someone i sent you the message alice sent i love you and trudy the attacker or the mad woman in middle she just adds one more line okay i don't love you so the whole meaning changes so he wants message integrity so whatever alice has written he wants that should reach bob so now what should be done so his two requirements were message integrity it should be the same message that was sent by bob there has been no modification and sender authentication he is not he is a guy he is not very much caring about if anyone else reads it so confidentiality he doesn't require but he requires sender authentication that okay it should be alice and not trudy giving a prank to him and message should be integrity integrity should be there okay so it should not be modified so what does alice do now she reads the koros book again and she says that now she finds the hash of the message okay this hash is a kind of fingerprint of this message see she now encrypts it with her private key okay so if she is encrypting with his private her private key so then it tells that okay it cannot be so this is done okay let's first see so k minus c she encrypt this h of m and she also sends the message so bob receives m and k a minus h of m this was the private key of alice okay so alice has this private key and only now what bob does bob decrypts with public key of alice so he applies k a plus to k a minus h of m so he will get now because he decrypts with the public key of alice he will get h of m and he also got the message so he now find the hash of message if this hash and hash of this one are same so ma message and the hash of message obtained here both are same it means the message has not been modified okay and how is it known that okay it is alice only who has sent because it is the property of the private key okay so k a minus alice whatever h of m she had sent okay so when you apply the public key to this and you get hm and here also you are getting hm then there can be nobody else because nobody else is knowing the private key of alice so that's why alice only is sending this message because no one else has got the private key of alice and he was using the public key of alice and finds that messages are same okay so this provides a sender authentication message integrity why because if this m was changed to m dash then what happens and here alice had also sent h of m so now if this h of m and if we find h of m dash then if they don't match then it means the message was modified but because hm and this m dash h of m dash are matching it means the message has also not been changed 
the last one now bob thinks that okay he's becoming obsessive about alice he wants secrecy to no one else none of his friends should read that message so he wants now secrecy too so alice now goes and reads kuro's book again and in the next few pages she finds a more difficult algorithm so now she needs to provide secrecy sender authentication message integrity all of these so first to provide integrity of message she finds h of m okay a uh, message digest she finds okay then she applies k a minus t shines signs it with her private key which will authenticate that okay she is the only one who has signed the message so h of m she signs this message now she encrypts it with her the secret key shared among them okay so she applies k minus h of m so now this is the secret key encrypted which is shared so symmetric key but this symmetric key is now not known to bob so she also adds the key she encrypts it with the public key of bob and only bob can decrypt the ks so when bobs receive all this he first decrypts the symmetric key shared symmetric key so he will apply kb minus to kb plus ks and now only he can decrypt and find this ks because he has only got the private key so he finds ks now he applies the symmetric key to this message ks and he gets ka minus h of m now what he does so he applies the public key of alice okay and he will get h of m from here and this message was also sent along with this and this so now he finds h of m the message he got and if both of these are equal this means message was message integrity was maintained and if he got so ks he got the shared secret key and because the hm and this was same it was it means that message was authentic also it was sent from alice so this is how he ensures all the three secrecy confidentiality sender authentication and message integrity so i hope you enjoyed it thanks a lot